Today's March 2nd, China Daily USA presents this week's edition of Across America. From Los Angeles, a conference at UCLA on February 23rd commemorated former U.S. President Richard Nixon's visit to China 40 years ago. The terracotta warriors from the Warriors' Tombs and Temples exhibit at the Bowers Museum in Orange County has attracted more than 100,000 visitors in Southern California. From New York, Jerome Cohen, law professor at New York University and a leading Western scholar on China's legal system, talks to China Daily on China-U.S. relations. The UCLA Berkeley Center for International Relations, UCLA Center for Chinese Studies, and UCLA Confucius Institute held a conference on February 23 to commemorate former U.S. President Richard Nixon's historic visit to China in February 1972. Experts in China-U.S. relations came together at a conference entitled "Nixon in China: A Legacy Revisited." Carl Ross Diala, director of the UCLA Berkeley Center, said the visit seized the moment, seized the hour, and transformed history. Keynote speaker Richard Solomon, president of the United States Institute of Peace, said that after 40 years of development, the China-U.S. relationship is currently strategically ambiguous, and the two countries have different interests, but simultaneously face similar challenges such as job creation. Where it really was changed in a, in a fundamental way by this by this trip. <clears throat> I was、uh, going to ask how many of you were、uh, born, let's say, after 1980, to get a sense of how how much this is ancient history.、Uh, Chinese Consul General Xu Xiaofeng was also in attendance at the conference and said that the U.S. and China combined made up one third of the global economy, one fourth of the corporations, and one fifth of global trade. He said providing mutual respect when working together is the only way forward for the two nations. China Daily Los Angeles Bureau. Wang Jun reports. The Warriors' Tombs and Temples exhibit at the Bowers Museum in Orange County has attracted more than 100,000 visitors over the past six months. More than 150 cultural relics from China, including the only green-faced terracotta warrior, are on display in the show. About 120 pieces are in the United States for the first time, and 33 of them are being shown outside of China for the first time. The show began in October 2011 and will close in early March, with the possibility of an extension. Anne Shu, chairwoman of the Bowers Museum, said it's the second time that she has brought the terracotta warriors to the museum. In 2008. 20 pieces of the terracotta warriors were put on exhibition at the Bowers Museum, as well as museums in Atlanta, Houston, and Washington D.C. Together, more than one million people have seen the show. Shu was recently named Shanxi Cultural Heritage Ambassador by the provincial government for her extraordinary contributions in promoting Chinese culture overseas. After Orange County, the exhibition will move on to the Houston Museum of Natural Science before going back to China. China Daily, Los Angeles Bureau, Wang Jun reports. I'm Chen Weihua of China Daily USA. Now we are at the NYU Law School. We are going to interview Professor Julong Cohen of NYU Law School. Professor Cohen is a leading scholar on China's legal system. Do you think the relationship? Has improved. I mean, in the past year since President Hu's visit, I think it's a mixed bag. Naturally, when you have two great powers, there are always certain conflicts. There are always certain important areas of agreement. I think initially President Obama may have been too optimistic. In his first year in office, I think he was very disappointed by、uh, the、uh, visit he had to China. Since then, I think both sides have shown they really want to have a cooperative relationship, and in some respects, progress has been made. In other respects, 
Not much progress has been mm -hmm. made, and there are so many contentious issues that the powers have to face. It's natural that we have different shades of agreement or disagreement mm -hmm. uh, on them. So I would say the last year has been mama hoo hoo, mm -hmm. sort of uh, fairly good. Nothing too optimistic, but nothing too pessimistic. I think China's economic progress is a very good thing. But as with all good things, it has to be watched, it has to be developed, it has to be moderated if it goes too fast. But we benefit from China's economic development. Trust is important, but there are other things that are also important. I'm very glad to see your figures that most Americans uh -huh. uh, think we have friendly relations with China. Of course, we don't have a formal alliance. We are not mm -hmm. allies in that sense, but we are friendly, uh -huh. and we have common interests, and those common interests are most important. Certainly, China is not an enemy of the United States, and the United States is not an enemy of China, although in both countries you have some people who think mm -hmm. we, we are enemies are going to become enemies, but they are a minority, mm -hmm. and their job for the rest of us is to prove them wrong. Mm -hmm.